Hello world, welcome to day 29 of my 30 day video challenge. Here we are today and yeah, I'm feeling okay. I feel like I've actually caught a cold for the first time in perhaps a year. <laughs> I don't even remember catching a cold last year. So straight away after getting back from Mexico, getting a cold, that's how it rolls. It's not COVID. I've been kind of a bit low the past couple of days that I've been back. I feel like maybe it's a combination of many things, like a bit of jet lag. I'm waking up at like 11 a.m. because of the jet lag. <laughs> but really I feel like it's because I have to quarantine and self-isolate for 10 days. It's like, nah, I don't want to do that. I don't like that feeling. I don't like having sanctions like this imposed upon me from tyrannical forces that yeah anyway but I'm good I've been practicing my appreciation today and it's made me feel a hell of a lot better which is awesome yeah this is my second from last of the 30 day video challenge and to be honest I actually I'm kind of glad that the 30 day video challenge is over because even though it's good for me to show up in this way and to like express myself like on a day-to-day -day basis of what I'm going through and things like that. It also comes with a certain lack of quality. For example, personally, I feel like for the videos I want to be creating, I've seen, I've seen examples of the kind of quality I want to create and this just isn't it this is just like me talking head to the camera uh no fancy editing nothing really added in or a storyline really being told to make it more interesting or captivating and that's really what I would like to do is create more content that's more captivating not just like production line bam 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 like a video a day even though that's a good thing yeah, I, I, it's not really my style. I feel like f f throughout the past 30 days, it's been like, oh, it will come around to me like towards the second half of the day and I will have been busy doing other things. And then it's like, oh, I've got to make a video today. What should I do it about kind of thing? And I hadn't really pre-planned at all. Um, so perhaps if I do do another kind of similar challenge, maybe, I don't know, one video a week or something like that, I'll have a plan and it will just come out much better. So that's a possibility. So thank you for watching the past 29 days so far, if, you, if you've been watching frequently or not. I'm grateful get straight back to the UK and get a cold. That is to a T standard practice. <laughs> oh God. It's bliss. It is bliss. I really appreciate it here. And I had the sun shining through the window this morning so I could just like bask in the sun. Mm. It was fantastic. Really good. So I'm still getting that sunshine like I would in Mexico, but for a window. <laughs> it works, it works. I'm so grateful. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> so one of the things that I'm really grateful for, for this new habit setting program that myself and my friend have created, um, I, Two of the most important, three of the most important things I need to do on that list every day are yoga, appreciation practice, and meditation. And I found just having to do those, each of those every day has really changed my life, actually. You know, the, the appreciation practice in particular, 
is it has a profound effect at improving mood and overall just enhancing how one feels about themselves and it even cleans and washes emotions it's very powerful and of course the yoga added that flexibility in general for me which has been lovely but the meditation yeah the meditation in particular has certainly given me that kind of edge in terms of mindfulness presence and awareness that well without meditation where would <laughs> yeah meditation fantastic so powerful eventually i'll be meditating so much that i'll be channeling non-physical extraterrestrial beings and then the next thing i know they'll be landing on my landing on my lawn and i'll be having a conversation telepathically with them because i'll be so in tune and integrated <laughs> and i won't be the only one doing that exciting times ahead this century <laughs> and of course i cooked this amazing meal today which was a special recipe from a friend from the united states and it was bellissimo absolutely divine i've never tasted a kind of stew like it before yeah i'll be making this for christmas and boxing day for my family 100 percent deserves that kind of accreditation. Yeah, it's now evening time here in the UK. It's dark outside, it's nine o'clock. And winter is coming. Hodor. Wonderful. Thank you, thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your week ahead. Much love. I'm cooking. I've got me some, it's like a stuffing. But it's not a stuffing. It just tastes amazing. It's the best stuffing I've ever eaten in my entire life. It's an American recipe and it's not like traditional English stuffing. It's just the vegetables and then it's coming with like a bread. So it's not the cleanest of the clean eating, but I tried it at Thanksgiving in Mexico as an American friend made it. I was like, this is the best thing I've eaten for a long time. So she gave me the recipe and here I am now. So yeah, this is going to be delicious. <laughs> Just enjoying my time. Really appreciative of being in this lovely place. Just very grateful to be in this apartment and just practicing gratitude again today. Just giving thanks. It just feels amazing. So grateful.